Vodafone has been present in Egypt for the last 20 years, and over the course of those 20 years, we've invested over 40 billion Egyptian pounds in the country. So obviously it is a place where we believe that our investment makes sense across the world. But also, fundamentally, a young, dynamic population full of energy, and that's brilliant for a digital world. When we first started 15 years ago, the first thing that was very attractive is the location. It's a hub to Europe, the Middle East, Africa, and Asia. So from a location and time zone perspective, it's very attractive. Then when we look at the labor market, the resource pool, each year more than one half million professionals are introduced into the job market. What was also very helpful is an engagement of the government in supporting multinational companies. We're seeing lots of great talent that comes out of university. They bring a lot of innovative mindset. It's not just artificial intelligence and the latest technologies, but even in the traditional way of doing business. We are a country of 100 million plus. The most important thing is people and building the capacity and training. We have a number of government entities that support in that, like ETIDA, for example, that helps with capacity building. And this is the most important thing beside the technology and the infrastructure. I'm very, very happy to see that there are a number of government programs to really train students out of university in a broad array of fields, so that when they come out of university in two, three years' time, they really have a different expertise than the rest of Africa and then the rest of the world. From an economic perspective, it is very attractive at this time to be in Egypt, but it's not a sole driver. What's more important is the quality of service that comes with that cost and customer satisfaction. Today, we have about 6,700 employees dedicated to serving the rest of the world in two main activities. The first is everything that has to do with contact centers and serving markets like Germany, UK, Italy. The second activity is actually a technology activity. We host here Vodafone's Worldwide Center of Excellence on technology. Things such as RPA, Robotics Process Automation, is being done out of Egypt for the rest of the world. Smart cities are being designed, built and operated here in Egypt for the rest of Europe actually. So many activities where you can see that it's really the technical hub is happening in Egypt. Why is that? Simply because we have fantastic talent in the market and we have the ability from a cost perspective to offer quality services at a very competitive price. We were a call center. Today we're living in a period of digital transformation. We're engaged in pre-consulting, solutions design, engineering, project management implementation, and operations activity. Today we reach 2,300 employees that are supporting the 800 multinational companies 24 by 7 in 12 languages. We have about 6,000 employees out of Egypt servicing about 110 clients and close to 80% of those are offshore clients, Europe, Middle East and Africa in different services. I can service my clients with 25 languages coming out of Egypt. German, English, Dutch, Polish, Zulu, all languages you could imagine we can scale out of Egypt. The Center of Excellence was started in Egypt in 2009. We have 18 different businesses here in Egypt that are serving all over the world. We have dedicated Internet of Things engineering team with data scientists who are actually building the new generation of products and services in the IoT space. From last year to this year, the Center of Excellence grew from 900 team members to 1,400 team members. By the end of this year, we will reach around 1,700. The ICT sector is one of the fastest growing sectors in Egypt. Gartner ranked Egypt as the primary destination for outsourcing and shared services. They look at its access to talent and how much you can scale and the ease of finding talent, the cost attractiveness of providing the service out of this country, and of course the ease of doing business and the government support that investors or multinational clients get when they trust their operation out of Egypt. Throughout history, Egypt has been a leader in the Middle East and Africa in terms of science and evolution and Egypt will continue to do that.